All right, here we go. 3D printed football. Dude, 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 you did it! Hey, it's Joel, of course. I am not at home in my studio. I'm in spring break capital of the world, Portland, Oregon. And I'm here at the home of the Portland Pickles with Bender. Hi. Hey, Bender, how you Ready doing? Go. And I'm here with NFL legend, John Ryan. <laughs> thank you, thank you. John Ryan, a punter, was known for his powerful leg. John Ryan from about his own 16. This ball goes a mile. Now, he's famous for his arm. Gonna float it for the touchdown! Seattle back in it! So, Bender, first to you. We had an idea, right? Yes, yeah. And I had these 3D printed footballs. You came to the studio, you saw them, and we sort of conspired a bit. Yes. What happened next? Well, you can 3D print anything. You've been so far ahead of the curve on everything. I happen to have John Ryan's phone number in my phone. Let's find out what's going on. Let's see if he has a schedule available. And here we are at his Portland Pickles Portland Stadium. Pickles. Oh, I love it. And here we are. We're going to uh, see if he can kick the ball uh, it, with any sort of consistency that he's uh, won a Super Bowl with this one. Right. Now, let me borrow that one for just a sec. Hey, John. Hey. This is an NFL football replica, you said, right? And this is a 3D printed ball. Now, I'm going to hand that to you. In our conversations, you've actually had some 3D printing experience, right, with the pickles? We, we do. With the pickles, we do um, everything from Christmas ornaments to uh, jewelry for our mascot. You know, we've, we've done a lot of little things, and it's, uh, it blows my mind every time because this is something that's over my pay scale, over my pay, pay grade, and uh, it's just really interesting to see the kind of things they can do with it. Now, with 3D printing, you obviously have held these things that have been produced for the Portland Pickles. Now, this is the first 3D printed American football you've held, right? It, it definitely is. What are your thoughts right off the bat? It, it's interesting. I think it's really cool. Uh, I think there's a lot of things with this ball you don't have to worry about that you have to worry about with a, with a leather football uh, in different weather. So I'm, I'm really interested to kick this. Oh, okay. Well, here's your here's your NFL replica. What do you notice in the difference right away? It's a little heavier. A little bit? Uh, this this ball is a little fatter. Um, the feel is interesting. It actually has a better grip on this ball really? than on a leather ball. It can be better grip. Who knew? Uh, a little slick. So yeah, it's just going to be interesting to see how it flies. All right. So then you're up for kicking this. You're up for giving it a shot, right? Absolutely. When was the last time you kicked a football, John? It was 19 months ago. <laughs> my last pro game in October 2022. So this is, uh, everything's going to hurt tomorrow. Is it worth it? It's 100% <laughs> worth it. I regret nothing. All right. Everything's going to hurt tomorrow. <laughs> Let's kick it. Now with this football, there are the, the grid side and there is the solid skin side. Will you be able to test both sides? Will you be yes, able to for sure. There? I think I'll, I'll start with the, the grid side. I'll just see interesting and then flip the ball around as a punter and I'll hit the, the hard side or the oh, uh, solid side. Well, we found some teenagers and we sent them down there. You guys good? Yeah. 3D printed football. You've got two different panels here. It may disintegrate, it may go further, it may not. John Let's Ryan, see, the first ever. Okay. This is this is to you, man. Go honor. for it. 3D printed football. Let's do this. <laughs> Did you see a little like ball? That all the material come off? Yeah, that? there's some material that came out. All right, David, throw it back. Let's take a look at this. Uh, okay, it's still intact, which is good. So the SLS process. There's a laser hitting a bed of powdered material and it builds it up over time. At the end of it, you have to get all the powder out, all the material out. There was powder that Form Labs didn't remove yet and yeah. your kick actually removed more of that powder. Um, how was the kick? What did it feel like? It, it, it felt a little bit like kicking a bouncy ball. Okay. You know, so it, it, I definitely couldn't get the same distance with it, but it was uh, interesting. Which panel did you hit? I hit the this, this panel, the... Uh, Oh, that one? That one, yes. Okay, you want to give that another go? I will, I will. And then maybe we'll do the solid panel next? Yes, for sure. All right, here we go. 3D printed football, kick two. It sounds like a bouncy ball. It, where I can really feel it almost on my entire foot. Oh, dude, 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 you did it! You did it! <laughs> that is an NFL kicker's proper kick on a 3D printed football. Well, that was awesome. So we do have another 3D printed right. football with all solid sides. Let's you want to give it a shot? Right, absolutely love trying. All right. Oh, there goes Bender. Here we go. So this one, see, it's got some give, and the defer see the deformation there. That's kind of not not like it has an internal geometry. So it has infill on the inside. Okay. So it's instead of being here. air, it's about. So this one was 19.8 ounces. That one's 20 and a half. So that does have half an ounce more material. Yeah! And you broke it!
broken. It's broken. <laughs> I feel shocked. This one, this one felt a little bit more like a normal football or like a regular football than, than the, the, the grid one. So I think it played a little bit more like a normal football would. Oh, that's that's really cool. Bender, get in here, get in here. So you've, your first experiences with 3D printing uh, is kind of with me and what I've shown you. Yeah. And like you said, the Portland Pickles have done 3D printing with stuff, but this is the first print you've probably kicked. Absolutely it is, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll kick anything, but I've never kicked anything 3D printed before, so very cool. But what do you guys think? Do you think 3D printing is a viable method for producing an American football, or do you think uh, leather is still the way to go? Right now, leather is the way to go, but with things like flag football becoming so prominent, uh, they don't have kicking in that game, where I think this ball could be very well used in a lot of those games. Uh, I think it'll play better in rain. Uh, I think it might be beneficial to go with a 3D printed ball in a game like flag football. Okay, well, and, and looking at this one, if you have a grid structure, you could put a light inside. So when you're, if you're playing flag football at night, maybe you could have LEDs and the ball could be lit up. That'd and be really cool. You know, that'd be kind of, that'd be kind of cool. Form Labs, it's now up to you. <laughs> Make a football that can withstand an NFL Super Bowl champion punter's kick. John, thank you so hey, much, man. I really appreciate it. John's going to autograph auction him off for Radiothon. That's amazing. Not many people get to do that. Hey, they'll bring a couple bucks for Radiothon. Yeah, what do you think? I think so. Look at that. Thanks for watching. If you made the spar, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more, fight for a cause you believe in, and kick all the things. And as always, high five. Yeah, you want me to? There it is. Nailed it.